It's called Evil Clan Abducts Black Kid. Watch what happens next. And this is tomorrow's teaching. We know off the rip, it's finna be some racist shit going on. And there's a chance that they're gonna cut off his dick or some shit like that. It's tomorrow's teaching, bro. Bro, here we go with these Indian ass videos. These videos not Indian. Like, these, man, it's American and shit. But, yeah, that's my prediction for the video. Evil Clan kidding ass black kid. Let's do it. Coming up on tomorrow's teachings. <laughs> a gift. Now, look. This a new character. I don't know where they found this nigga with a box. I never seen him ever in my life. Let's spin it back. Coming up on tomorrow's teachings. <laughs> Last time we seen him, y'all, him and his son was both fucking his wife. So his like, man, this sounds like some crazy shit just to say, but this all true. Uh, again. Let's just keep it rolling. Here, monkey, monkey, monkey. Come here, monkey, monkey. Don't talk back to me, monkey thug. Where's your master at? That's a man? Yeah, right there is fine. Yeah, mom, I know. Where is Miles? I would love to see my grandson. Miles is at school. He should be getting out soon, actually. Oh, okay. How is he? He's good. It's going to take him a while to adjust to this new house and lifestyle. But... That's right. He used to live in Africa in a clay hut. And then what? New York? Yeah, New York. In a tiny... Adopted black kid that ended up with a racist family. In the apartment with his real dad. And then he just left him went out to get milk and never came back but then you found him on the street and adopted him oh someone's at the door let me call you back What? What? What the fuck? Bro, that's Hitler, ain't it? New to town, Miles wandered through the streets, looking for something to do. Sad and depressed, he feels like he doesn't fit in. The sound of a basketball caught his ear. Yeah, typical nigga basketball. Kool-Aid, what's next? My favorite. And he felt a familiar pull in his blood. A watermelon when he gets tired. To meet new people and perhaps find his place in this unfamiliar town. Hey guys, mind if I play? What the heck? The fuck are you doing here? You're not in Miles thought he'd find new friends, but all he found was rejection. Bro, what the fuck? In this fuck? neighborhood, it seems no one wants him. So the nigga ran because he didn't want to... He seen a black nigga show up to the... Do y'all think like, okay. So he thinking, damn, I'm finna lose the 1v1. That's why he left? Or he thinking, damn, this a nigga. And he black, period. I'm gone. Maybe this place would never feel like home. As Miles find... Did he dunk that bitch? And this shit has never happened on top of that tomorrow's teaching. I'm calling y'all out on all the bullshit. For a white boy to hoop, he had to have been watching LeBron James. That's the only way. Finally begins to glimpse the bright side, the rhythmic thud of the basketball grounding his thoughts. A white woman... He's ass. Did that nigga just miss a layup? The rhythmic thud of the basketball... And what's this form? I told you, they always got the B-team girls form. If y'all gonna get a hooper, can y'all at least get somebody that look like he know what he doing? For God's sake, get a nigga with at least like, I don't know, Flight Reacts will work for this shit. You know, they don't gotta be that nice, but shit, as long as they can make it look like they know what they doing. Man, this nigga ain't never touched the basketball. Grounding his thoughts, a white woman steps into view. Her eyes narrow, catching something off about him, a subtle unease that she can't quite place. She sees Miles as nothing more. This is probably the most effort they ever put into a motherfucking tomorrow's teaching episode ever. The monkey suit.
And I guarantee you, it's probably the nigga. This box fade having ass nigga is probably the nigga inside the monkey suit, bro. More than a filthy monkey defiling the pristine white neighbor. Matter of fact, no, that's the little white boy. That's who I think it is. She holds dear. The sight of him ignites a strong hatred within her. Every movement he makes feels like an affront to everything she values. What are you doing here, you thug? Me? Just on earth. You should be in a cotton field. Cotton field now? I think you're confused. Don't talk back to me, monkey thug. Where's your master at? Hey, you can't talk to me like Yes, I can. Us white people can talk to Negroes any which way we wish. And that's just the way it is. No, there's no way. I think they find these niggas like these motherfuckers be racist inside those sunset towns and they find them. And that's how they cast them. And since it's acting, they could get away with this shit. Bitch, you gotta be racist saying this type of bullshit. Ain't no white hoe just walking around saying this shit no matter how much they pay them. And I know y'all getting paid chump change for this shit. Just look at her. What type of fit is this? That ain't skills, bitch. What the fuck? Hey, monkey thug, where's your master at? Hey, you can't talk to me like Yes, I can. Us white people can talk to Negroes any which way we wish. And that's just the way it is. Hey, just go home, lady. That's no way to speak to your higher ups. <laughs> I have fresh. Nigga got. He got punched twice and ran. I have fresh meat. Tears streaming down Miles' face <laughs> as he cries quietly. The weight Nigga, 27 crying. Bear down on him heavily, feeling uncertain and alone. Bro, what the? He got a full-on beard, nigga. You is grown, bro. And you better not be inside your mama house crying, boy. If you don't take your ass up to motherfucking Family Dollar and fill out an application, sitting up inside the crib crying his ass off because he got punched by a white lady. I, I don't even think that was a lady, Jay. That shit, we don't know. Cyborg. She sound like a motherfucking, uh, like she was made in a lab or some shit. His cut is crazy as shit. Like, no blending, no nothing. I think a nigga did this shit with some scissors. I ain't gonna care. Dreaming down Miles' face <laughs> as he Razor cries blade. quietly. The weight of his loneliness <laughs> bear down on him heavily. Feeling uncertain and alone, he reaches for the phone and dials his mom's number. The call goes unanswered, leaving him in silence until a black second ass, knock echoes like from your the black door. Ass. Fuck. Miles, confused, assumes it's just the neighborhood kids playing Ding Dong Ditch. But when he opens the door, he stumbles upon something unbelievably disgusting and heartbreaking. Miles is engulfed in grief. Your mommy's been lynched. You're next. He been not going inside the house after this shit. Cause you gotta think his mama was white and she got lynched. I don't know how much worse. Whatever the fuck they finna do to you is worse than death. Yeah. If you get this message, what you doing? I'm fried, bro. I, I, you might have to accept defeat after this one. It ain't shit you could do. That his mother is dead. They finna get the you regardless. Especially life. his ass, mm -hmm. bro. Shut Nobody up. has this haircut in the neighborhood. He's the only nigga with a box. I can guarantee you that, like, in a 50-mile radius. Alone He's not getting room, away. He is consumed by the profound sadness of her absence. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. Shit, man. They finna cut his BBC off. I forgot we watching tomorrow's teaching. That probably some shit that's really finna happen. Nigga found out his mama got lynched, right? And they said, you next. He ran upstairs to go lay in bed and cry. Bro, like, you making it so fucking easy? He want to get got. I ain't never seen a nigga that want to go back to the plantation. turns to the messages and pictures of his mother, seeking solace in the memories. Chat. Chat, this shit finna get real. I'm telling you, this shit finna get real. I know tomorrow's teaching. I've been watching these motherfuckers long enough. This nigga finna go on. 
Boy, that nigga finna goon his ass off. He finna let the last one out before the white folks come pick him up. And to be honest, bro, I don't know if there's any better way to motherfucking, uh, what's it called, go out? To, nah, not to mom, though. To mama is crazy as shit. Nah. Adams always loved his mother in a way that was uncommon, deep, and intense. I wish you could have saw my tree trunk of a wiener. Overcome. Huh? Nigga, that's your mom, bro. With guilt and distress after touching himself to a picture of his deceased mother. Oh, they already killed? Ah, oh, this nigga nasty. Out of some stand, I'm gonna go for a walk. Miles decides to go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! In the drawers and now he getting up straight up out of bed? I ain't seen the nigga pull up his pants or nothing, bro. Fam, what type of freaky man I'm telling y'all, fam, it's always the niggas with boxes. They must be watched. That's a signature style. How you do this one? Go for a walk. He needs to clear his head and some escape from the overwhelming shame and grief. Miles comes across a chicken leg. Good old KFC trick, huh, nigga? Good old KKK KFC. He loves chicken, but little does. His dumb ass, bro. His dumb. This got to be the dumbest nigga we've seen on this show. Period, bro. Out of all the dumb niggas we've seen on this show, Miles, stupid as shit. In this same fit, you done got your ass beat by an old white lady. She wasn't even a milf. She wasn't even guilt material. She was just old white. I, man, I think she was a nigga. Bruce Jenner type of nigga. You got your ass beat by her at the at the motherfucking basketball court. You let a white boy run from you. Uh, what else? You came home, your mama died. So you decided to go upstairs and beat your dick to a photo of your mom, your dead mom? Now after that, you say, ah, man, I need to go for a walk. After letting the motherfucking volcano explode. And you get got like this, behind some chicken. Nigga said you would have fell for it, too. Boy. Does he know? That something isn't quite right. This nigga's life lore is crazy, bro. You eating it right there? You couldn't wait? About this one. Come get your chicken. Favorite fried chicken. Come here, monkey. That's a boy. The KKK hey, what is become doing? Bro, nigga, that is a fish rod, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? And in a chilling... Back shot. It's a back shot. What are you doing? Miles, what are you doing? Whisking him away. This nigga's life is a fucking movie, bro. This is the craziest day ever. Back shot by a KKK nigga, now they finna throw you in the truck. In the safety. Wow. In the white in suburban here. neighborhood. He's extra dark. Intention. And he got in. Like, look at his feet. Nigga ain't even trying to run, bro. Nigga actually got in the car. Whisking him away from the safety Hurry of the up. white in suburban here. neighborhood. He's extra dark. Their intentions are as dark as their hatred. And Miles finds himself trapped in a nightmare he never saw coming. Here, don't monkeys like bananas? Here you go. Grand Wizard! Please let me go. I didn't do anything wrong, please. Ah. <laughs> the producer of tomorrow's uh, season yeah. is black? Wait, How you know? Why are you doing this? Please don't do this. Silence! Sir, should we tar and feather him? <laughs> no! Too much work! Let's just kill him. One less black in the world is one less black in the world. What about the rope? Rope? I got this. I look. Prediction. They gonna kill him? This shit sound freaky, but this just, bro, it's tomorrow's teaching. He got to, like, predict what's gonna happen. They gonna shoot the nigga, right? They gonna cut his motherfucking wood off and use that bit. Like, they gonna put it in the museum. Mind y'all, bro. That nigga was just, he was bragging about how big his shit was while beating off to his mom. Like, he told us. He said it's a tree trunk. That's my prediction. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, let me tell you something. <laughs> People like you. Okay, but why? We all live in this world together. Why can't we all get along? It's people like you that make me sick. Sir. Hmm? Yeah, you. Me? What are you babbling about? Have I ever done anything to you? 
So I, but they don't. I don't even want to hear this bullshit. I think they should kill him. Just off the simple fact that he beat his dick to his mom and you ended up here behind a piece of chicken. That shit wasn't even no good chicken either, nigga. Shit looked like Tyson to me. So, yeah, man, I'm all with it, man. Shoot his nigga ass. I don't know how God would want it. Yeah! Yeah! What, the, what is it with you two? Stand down! Sir, don't you believe in God? No! He's right. Maybe we should think about this. Shut up, sure. we're just letting him get in your head. That nigga say he believe in Hitler. But even Hitler knew that he couldn't fight everyone. No, I won't let you alliance. do this. No, I've had enough. This. Mercy. Me too. You who can't who the fuck else is talking? Look around. Not all of them agree with you. If you kill me, you'll just be proving that you don't care about them either. You've gone too far. Jack, this isn't what we signed up for. Stuff. Oh, for crying out loud, who does this kid think he is, Malcolm X? Enough, all of you, stand down. Think about it. Do you, do you guys really want to die here today? Because if you keep following, that's where it's going. You are smart enough that killing someone who hasn't done anything to you isn't going to solve anything. We got to kill him. Karen wanted a Mexican. We can't keep this one. No. I can't let you do this. What the fuck? Get out of my way, you fool. Miles hey. narrowly escaped the deadly situation thanks to the intervention of a mysterious figure who was secretly working undercover within the KKK. Meanwhile- Bro, they should've at least got like an athletic nigga. This nigga not fast, bro. He can't score a layup. He like, he, he like, he beat his dick to his mom. He has no job. 27, bro. Meanwhile, the Grand Wizard, eager to recruit more Mexicans to fuel Karen's hatred, and bolster the KKK's ranks, remains unaware that Miles is preparing to infiltrate their organization. Miles is determined to help bring down the KKK and avenge the injustices inflicted upon the new world. Bro, what hey, the this fuck? is Lamar from tomorrow's teachings. Hope you guys learned something. Remember they treat everyone the same no matter what the skin color is. We're all Ain't no way a nigga trying to teach me a lesson after I done caught him jacking his dick to his mom. I'm sorry. That, that was like the peak of the video to me, y'all. As soon as he did that shit, I don't want to hear nothing else from you, bro. Come on, my nigga. Come on, bro. And then they got you over a piece of chicken. Shut the fuck up. Tomorrow's teaching, y'all did it again. Uh, I don't know what y'all did again, but y'all did it again, man. Still ain't looking like I'm rich You know, bitch ain't out of stuff Still look like I'm out in drinks And after the evil coast Still gon' sit and fuckin' hell Nah, I be on hella dope Still don't drink to find my rich